Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Let's walk around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And while my voice still sounds a bit weird on this Tuesday morning here in my beloved city of Stockholm, we're gonna do another walk and we are going to explore the area of Zinkensdam. So I just got out of the Zinkensdam metro station. Um, the metro I mean, not outside the station yet, that's what we're gonna do right now. I was getting ahead of myself here. So let's do that first, let's go outside. So Zinkensdam is the name of some kind of old manor here in um, on Södermalm, but um, you know, they demolished that long time ago. And now, now the most significant thing here is the stadium here. Um, there's like a football stadium just next to the metro station where they do a lot of concerts and things but um, anyway let's explore let's first see if i can get out of here where am i going all righty yes although my voice is a bit weird today it doesn't feel sound like myself um, i'm feeling fine so yeah it's all good no stopping I like the atmosphere in the chat uh, recently. I mean, I always like it, but especially in the last weeks, there's a really nice, uh, nice vibe going on. So thank you. All right, let's see what the weather is like. I'm praying for no rain. Please, please, no rain. At least I brought an umbrella this time. That was good. <laughs> I got so wet on also Galtang. Alrighty, let's go up the stairs. So yeah, I think um, this area is the least visited by me on the whole of Södermalm. I mean, I've done a, a walk, but not really explored it that much. All right. No rain whatsoever. Nice. I even feel a little bit of sunshine. Zinc and dumb. So yeah, the station I was talking about is over there. Um, if you remember my walk of last week where I did a walk to Tante Lunde, I kind of started there. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the crossing between Hoonskartan that goes all the way to Maria Toyet. And if you go straight ahead, it's like a Ringwegen, I believe, which goes all the way to Skanstul. But let's start in, in a different way. Let's go around here. And this is where I really never go. Um, what is this called? Bren Kyrkogatan. Well, that's pretty fun because it says 1983 on the building. So I guess it's built in 1983. Um, but let's go this way. And let's see what I can find in this street called Bren Kyrkogatan. Then Shurka Gautam. I don't think I've walked here before. Well, I have actually, but not on video, maybe. So I probably did in my private life. People are like, you have a life outside of this channel? Yeah. Not that much, to be honest, but yeah, a little bit. It's interesting because... The bigger my channel get, I can really feel the need of people wanting to have more information about my private life. It's quite funny. Like if you really want to ask me something, as some people do, just DM me on Instagram. You know, there's no secrets really, but it's more like, it doesn't really add anything to the channel if I do that. Because it kind of gives the focus away from, um, you know, what really matters. Which is Stockholm. I like those bi buildings here. They're pretty cool. Nice color. So, not really sure where I end up if I go straight ahead here. Ramona's Hood Clinic, it says. 
Whoa, concrete. <laughs> now across the street, Ramona's Hoot Clinic. It's like skin clinic, like skin care. That's a big thing right nowadays. I see it everywhere, skin care. It's not the first time I actually start talking about this topic <laughs> on the channel somehow. I know why, because it's the most boring thing ever. But yeah, it's because I just po point out things I see, right? Ooh, it was like secret stairs. But this is actually preschool, this wooden uh, fence and this building here. So yeah, let's kind of walk around the block and try to approach the zinc and dam station from like different um, sides or angles. Walk 517, I think, or 18. Not really sure. See, this is always so fun. On Sada Mom, here's another wooden building. I mean, check this out. Just in the middle of things, you're getting this countryside vibe again. So nice. Check that out. Cool. Let's go here around the corner. funny how I never get enough of Soda Mom here. I always find new streets and things and Ans Gutty Gotham. Oh this looks nice as well. I don't know what's inside there. Oh it's a hotel I guess. Is it a hotel? Yeah it looks like it. Cool courtyard. Hotel Helstians Mon Gord. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, it's always nice to have a walk in the morning. Kind of get you get you going for the day, right? I think I've said it before, like it's hard to have a really lazy day when you're just out and about already or in early in the morning. Well, it's not that early, even when it's like nine or whatever, it's so nice. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, but Daniel, we have to work. Trust me, I work. I just have a different time management than most people. So yeah, I just start a little bit later, you could say that. Oh, what does this sign say? Precis här har vi gjort vårt Stockholm ännu lite bättre. It says, right here, we've done our work to make Stockholm even a bit better. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Hmm. Where am I going? What about those stairs up there? Let's check them out. Can I go over here? Up. How do I get over there? I'm not supposed to climb here, I think, but all right. We'll do it anyway. I know what's happening here. All right, um, do I get stuck when I go up here? Uh, I probably will. I think there's a fence. All right, I wasn't supposed to go here. Let's get out quickly. All right, that was a failure. Sorry, folks. But I wanted to go up there. I don't know how to get there. Well, I know how to get there, but then there's climbing involved. And I've done that before on the channel. It wasn't a massive success. I remember when I did that Melahuyden, when I was with my son, I went up to this church on the hill and then we got stuck. So yeah, same same thing went on in Tantolunda where I got stuck as well. So let's try to do it the proper way this time. Same thing goes for this street. I don't think I've ever been here. I cannot believe I keep finding new streets on Sir Mom. It's not that big, is it? But there's got to be a point where I've walked all of them. Ah, then I just start all over again. It's fun. See that here there's some stairs. Let's go up here. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Found my way up. Cool car, by the way. Oh, this car is eating a lot of petrol. We're drinking a lot of petrol. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but anyway. Using a lot of petrol. Lundagatan. Gatan. Kvarteret Alabasten. Where am I? Kinnaviksringen. I, I literally just discovered a new <laughs> neighborhood on Södermalm. I don't even know how this is possible. It doesn't even look familiar to me. I don't know what the... Why are they having those blue things under the balcony? Can someone tell me that? There's like a net. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, nice. This is a very cool neighborhood. I mean, we all know Ginnavik's uh, bad yet. Um, but not Ginnavik's Ringen. Well, let's check out the view here. Oh, wow. I mean, look at this. So here we've got the view. So yeah, there, there's the well, the mountain, you can't call it a mountain, but there's the hill, right? So I've, I've done video from there, but I've never looked at it from this way. Oh, this is cool. There we've got the city hall, you know, central station next to it. Um, yeah, basically the whole view across the city. Beautiful. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I wish I had some coffee with me. I, I would literally have a cup here and just talk to you guys. But that's very suitable. Like, sometimes I like a little bit of preparation because I know like, the cool thing about my channel is that it's quite spontaneous, right? I just do whatever, which is good in one way. But sometimes I think, ah, I should have prepared a little bit better. You know, things as bring an umbrella, maybe look on the map where I'm going, bring a thermos, you know, like with, with coffee, thermos, that's a Swedish word, I don't know. But anyway, you get my point, like, sometimes it's good to, to prepare a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I'm trying, but it's not always easy. Really cool here, huh? some graffiti. Really stands out with the autumn colors, the blue here. You know, and there you can see Vasastan on that side as well. Yeah, well, you can basically you can see the whole city, everything. What a lovely walk. Oh, some more graffiti here. Interesting. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, it's very steep. I guess if I 
If I continue here, I, I cannot go away from Zinkensdam. But yeah, I see another walk going that way. Maybe I do it after. So part one and a part two. Yeah, so that's kind of where I came from. So maybe if I go here and then even further up here. I'm so surprised I've never been to this neighborhood yet. <coughs> I thought I knew, I knew Sodermom really well, but apparently I don't. This feels miles away from the cafes and the clubs and the going out area of Sodermom. Although it's really not, it's just down there. Just up the hill basically. Let's check this out. Pretty cool. I like the color. It's like orangey, almost mango-ish color. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is cool. Oh, a nice little boat. <laughs> Rutan, it says. Um, maybe if I go this way. So this is basically where I couldn't get up before. Um, so let's try it on that side. And why not? Let's walk to the church. That, that's the thing, like there's always a crane wherever you go nowadays in Stockholm. They're building everywhere. I don't know if I told you guys, but Stockholm is growing so fast. They're building 22 yes you're hearing this right 22 new public transport metro stations i'm not sure if they're all metro but stations anyway metro pendletog whatever 22 that's crazy like there's gonna be a yellow line and there's one line without a color i think it's called the gray line that's crazy Oh, another cool house here. Christina Hoof's party can. Let's uh, walk around this. This looks like an old farm. Like a manor, kind of. Yeah, there's quite a few of these. Um, it's called Christina Hoof's Malm Gorge. So yeah, I wasn't far off. <laughs> well, let's not forget to mention the massive building there behind. Oh wow, that's crazy. That must be one of Sedamon's biggest buildings. Check that out. But that's not really where I'm going. Let's go here. Pretty cool. Oh, there's like a dog uh, area over there. Uh, this here I've walked actually before once. I remember I was filming the sign there with the... There's a cafe and things like that. Yeah, now I remember. It's been quite a while. 
Oh, what's that? Is that a flat? An airplane? Yeah, it is. Look. Wow, I never realized they got this close. Look. That's pretty crazy. All right. So let's walk to the church and uh, finish up today's video. It's Leavander. Leavander means living. So it says Leavander culture milieu. It means um, cultural. It's almost like a living cultural hub, that kind of thing, what it means. It's not the like direct translation of it, but yeah, kind of captures the essence of what are they trying to, uh, to do there. So to use this building as a cultural place of culture, basically. So let's go to the Hergalitz Schurkan. And this is also called very creative Hergalitz Pikan. Does it say in English? Yeah. You can read it yourself. You should Google it. Hergalitz Pikan. The church was built in 1917 to 1923. That means it took them six years to build, it, to build this epic building. I must say this is very high as well, like even for Stockholm church standards, it's a very high building. Let's get a bit more up close to see how impressive it actually is. Oh, you can see the whole um, facade, as we call it in Swedish. They're replacing all the stones there, so it looks actually brand new, which it is. Especially this, uh, this front part here. And now they're doing the towers as well. All right, I can't actually get much closer because they're building. I think this is a nice little spot to round up today's video. I can do the church um, maybe next summer. Maybe I can go inside even when they're done with the renovating. All right, thank you people. I give you a thumbs up. I, have, I hope you give me a thumbs up as well on the video. And subscribe while you're here. Chat gang, thank you for watching. I'll see you all on the next adventure. Bye bye.